So today we're discussing, discussing Guardian Holdings annual report for 2023. Uh, what's going on with Guardian, a subsidiary of NCB, by the way? So just to give some overlay or context, so Guardian Holdings Limited is a Trinidadian-based insurance financial conglomerate. Uh, it's an NCBFG subsidiary, NCBFG being NCB Financial Group, owning 61.77% interest in GHL. And, you know, GHL you know, has some very iconic subsidiaries here in Jamaica. So you have Guardian Life Limited here in Jamaica and Guardian General Insurance. And Guardian Holdings, you know, came to Jamaica during the FinSat days and benefited tremendously by acquiring some of the failed insurance companies. And that's so why we got these two companies we know today in Jamaica. So in the case of Guardian Life Limited, <clears throat> apologies, Guardian Holdings Limited, they just released, you know, their 2023 audited financials along with their 2023 annual report. So to give some level of context, Guardian Holdings, you know, is spent planning to spend about 45 million US, about that's about probably 2.4 billion TT on a new Oracle system, you know, to further consolidate the back office of Garden Life Limited here in Jamaica and Garden Life of the Caribbean based in Barbados. And this is all part of just, you know, further implement technology <clears throat> to further make operations more smooth, reduce some back office friction and, you know, make it easier for the customer. So in the case of GHL, they had implemented IFR 17 last year. It should have imp impact in the how the accounting for insurance is treated so 2022 would have been the last year GH would have been using IFRS 4 which has the old insurance standard They're using IFRS 17 now so as a result everything has been restated so as a result under the new restated financials their revenue went up by 27 percent to 7.57 billion dollars TT just to give that context and you know Although Jamaica only makes about 26% of revenue, Jamaica makes up 57% of the 399 million you know, TT net profit. Apologies, that should be about 400 million, 400 million TT. But that kind of shows the picture in terms of how big Jamaica is in terms of contribution. And you know they mentioned how the Dutch Caribbean, which includes the ABC Islands and in extension to the Netherlands, how is, is there on their fastest growing market? It's about 22% of you know their net profit and around similar margins for their revenue has also been contributing pretty well. In Jamaica in particular, you know, they're still trying to fully dispose of the remaining units at the Cambridge. So for those who haven't or still don't read newspaper anymore, you know, back in July last year, 2023. Guardian Life would have put out an advertisement, you know, offering a $2 million J discount on the properties at the Cambridge. And that's along Musgrave Avenue, where, G where Guardian Life Limited's headquarters is. And basically, that ad I had that ad back in July 2023, back here April 2024, I have the same ad out again. You know, the head of life and pension, Eric Hosen, pointed out that. They had about 50 units back in August around that time. Ability to well, far to still remain on, the, on their books right now. So that's probably reflecting just the general stickiness with interest rates being so high alongside, you know, persons being relatively more conservative on certain purchases right now, question on being equal. So you know, that's one of the major highlights coming off of GHL's, you know, 2023 financial year and they're looking to you know really spend heavier and grow a lot harder in 2024 as they you know look to the primary capital towards Europe and the Netherlands alongside you know growing the base further in Trinidad alongside Jamaica. One key point, and I'm glad you mentioned NCB earlier, Kalila, is that Bruce Bowen has been proposed to be elected to GHL's board. So for those who don't know, Garden Hall is limited this AGM around May 3, or oh, May 2, actually. In Trinidad, it's going to be hybrid, so Jamaican shareholders can actually watch virtually, and Bruce Bowen has been posted, put onto GHL's board. So for those who don't recall, Bruce Bowen 
was is the current NCB Jamaica CEO, the bank. He's also on the NCB Financial Group board. And this is just further integration of those into the NCB Financial Group. He's also the chairman as well of NCB Capital Markets. So this gives some further context into just this deeper integration alongside all that's happening. It's a lot going on with, with Guardian for real. I have Sean have, has a question. Sean wants to know what denomination does DHL pay, GHL pay dividends in, TT or USD? So Ian Shinapu, the CEO, explained this. So if you're based in TT, Trinidad and Tobago, you get paid TTD. If you're based in Jamaica, you get Jamaican dollars. If you're based anywhere else, you get US dollars. Oh, so hope that makes, yeah. hope that makes some sense. Like, so yeah, you probably have some TT shareholder, well, Trinidadians, you know, based probably in USD or wherever, and you need to get their dividends, so they get it in USD. So you have those companies that, you know, might declare a dividend in one currency, but satisfy the needs of shareholders in different jurisdictions, they pay a different currency. So for example, you have Epic and Property Fund, Value Fund, they declare Barbadian dollar dividends, because that's their reporting currency, but they pay US dollar dividends to us here in Jamaica. Yeah, so, I thought it's that we, pay, we get paid dividends in JMD. Is USD? No, so GH, for Garden Holdings, if you're oh, based in Jamaica, you're talking get, about. Sorry, yes. yeah, Katrina thought, thought. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> no worries, no worries. And for example, like when NCB and GK pay dividends in Trinidad, it's always that the shareholders, they're going to get paid TTD. So it's just really based on where your job is styled in effect as to what currency you'll get paid in for those who are listening in right now. Any other comments on the chat, Kalila? What's that? Any other comments in the chat? Uh, I think I saw one more. Well, it's on a completely different topic. So let's just wrap up with, with Guardian first. Anything else you wanted to mention on Guardian before? Well, Stephen wants to know, is there a dividend calendar? So I don't have a dividend calendar on hand, but in terms of Guardian holdings, they follow a semi-annual dividend structure. So pay out in April after the financial and audited numbers come out, pay out around September when the first six months numbers have been published and have occurred already. So that's really it, we GHL. Okay, and then we had a follow-up question coming from Sean who wanted to know, so do you convert the TTD declaration to JMD? When you get the dividend uh, uh, stub or they remit the notice, they actually been paid, you see what the actual amount is. It's like you have a fixed uh, rate you can use or you can go on the bureau of and say, hey, this is what I'm going to get paid at. It's something you actually just know when you actually see it show up on your account and you see the actual notice remitted to you as to what the rate was used in that case. I think we're having some we might be having some internet challenges i don't know why our viewership numbers are so low that is very unusual but then questions are still coming in the chat so something That's... is up, <laughs> something well... is up here. i don't know what's going on but we have some questions in the chat let me ask them sean again so do you convert no i asked this one already yes john, you did. john does a shareholder have the option of receiving their dividends in usd or jmd so you said if you're in Jamaica, you get JMD, but can you yeah. act to get USD dividends? Boy, you'd have to ask Guardian that question, to be honest. Okay, I'm being informed that it might be JPS is the issue. Maybe some people are dropping off uh, because of electricity oh, yes. issues. What's, what's going on? Like I said, I'm off the island today, so I don't know what's happening. Oh, well, JPS, JPS was picking some mangoes on Sunday in Portmore, but uh, yeah, you know, their JPS had some disruptions recently. They mentioned, for example, you know, some accidents at light posts. So that's probably one situation. Probably with the increased heat, you have probably just some overloaded, you know, systems. Could be that, but. It's been a very active week, Kalila. Riverton, you know, JPS, like Jamaica is keeping as usual. <laughs> I'm, I'm being told power surges all over the island. So a lot of things are going on. Um, let me see. We had a couple other questions as well from Ricardo. So Ricardo wanted to know, how does GHL compare to Sagicor? 
and he said the market has been largely ignoring GHL. Is this due to large nominal price, PE much less than Sajikor? So read GHL versus Sajikor, I would need to convert to USD to give a fair estimation. So GHL is one of the few companies that actually publishes a US dollar rate sheet for their financial statements whenever they're published. So if I was coming to Tajikor Group Jamaica's numbers to USD, I probably get a fair estimate to give you. Uh, but basically, I know that you know in Jamaica, Tajikor Life, which is Tajikor Group's largest operating subsidiary, does bring in more profit than Garden Life Limited here in Jamaica. But I would still need to you know do some comparisons, basically using Tajikor Financial Company's numbers versus what GH has audited to get some context, but they're fairly large beasts. So for context, you're talking about Sajikor Group Jamaica being a $570 billion asset company. GHL is 34.8 billion TTD total assets, which translates to a little bit above 700 billion JMD. So I hope that gives some context, Khalil. Uh, the size of the businesses. Okay, and Roswell. Then, Roswell says, "I rather Sajikor dividend." No, ninety-six cents is. Is it ninety-six cents or zero point nine six cents? No, is ninety-six it, cents. Zero point dollar sign zero point nine six. Ninety-six cents is good. Long time I don't see such dividend. Good for you, Roswell. <laughs> um, few people weighing in on whatever might be going on. The thing is telling me that we only have two people watching us, which can't be right because I'm. Let me explain. I'm seeing comments from multiple people coming in the chat. So there's no way there's only two people watching. So um, <laughs> jo jo uh, John says, JPS needs competition. Then you will see how they fix the nonsense they love to carry on with. Competition breeds quality, quality that benefits the customer. iBook was saying that the name changed from taking stock. So I didn't find it in the search earlier. Did it? I haven't even looked because um the thumbnail says taking stock i'm not sure if you put taking stock in the title it should be in the title but i'm away leaving everything up to the team we have a new producer as i told you guys last week rich says i had a power outage from sunday oh my goodness uh ryan commenting that ghl pays dividends twice a year in march and then in august again tremaine sean says 130 watching on youtube why did it just say one I don't know, maybe it's StreamYard that's given me an issue because then RR is seeing eight people on. That I don't is, know what's going on. It's a crazy night, Kalila. Like. <laughs> I don't but, know. It says one. I really don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway. there's, a, there's a question I was asked earlier with GHL's PE. And for context, you know, Jamaicans still have a nominal pricing preference. So if a company is trading, the single digits, double digits, it's more preferred to a company that's trading uh, triple digits. So I have to remember that Guardian Holdings is trading at about 370 Jamaican dollars, trading at about 18 TTD, which is a little over 430 Jamaican dollars when converted. So yeah, pretty cheap in terms of our PE perspective, but if the market doesn't have that stomach for what I would call expensive stocks then you're going to see that low trading liquidity because when you compare it just 100 units of ghl is about thirty six thousand dollars vis-a-vis probably getting thirty six thousand units of just a one dollar stock mm. rodney says want to be a shareholder soon Sign out. Somebody telling me to sign out and sign back in. I'm, just, I'm not gonna bother. We're still. You guys can still see us. I'm not gonna let the number trip me up. Although it was just you now messing with my mind. But but as long as you guys can see us and hear us, we're good. We're soon finished anyway. Uh, Sean says Google said one TTD equals twenty two JMD. So GHL declared a dividend of fifty three cents, which means it's twelve dollars and thirteen cents JMD. Adding that's a nice dividend. <laughs> 